Hot dogs, watermelon, barbecue, and of course fireworks, all things 4th of July. But you may wonder how those spectacular displays that light up the sky actually work. Fox's CB Cotton has a closer look at the science of fireworks. The biggest firework holiday in the U.S. is quickly approaching. I don't think there's an American alive who can think of the 4th of July without thinking about fireworks. But how do the colors, sparkles, and sounds come about? Chemistry professor Marcy Towns says the anatomy of a firework is key to its explosion. You have a tube that the charge goes out down into, and there's a fuse, and you ignite the fuse. When the fuse burns down, it hits a black powder charge that propels the firework up into the sky. While fireworks can change colors based off the chemical composition it's made up of, some are harder to create than others. If you see a beautiful yellow firework, which is pretty common, that has sodium in it. Blue is the hardest color to make. It has copper compounds in it. Nearly all of the components needed to make up a firework, including aerial shells, paper rockets, and sparkly fountains, are imported from China. But with the ongoing trade fight between the U.S. and China, it's sparked uncertainty on whether next year's displays will skyrocket in price. In 2025, the consumers will largely pay what they paid last year, but we will not escape it if the trade war continues and the tariffs continue through into 2026. The fireworks industry is closely watching those tariffs in preparation for next year's Independence Day when the U.S. turns 250 years old. In New York, CB Cotton, Fox News.